Hi guys, welcome to Short No Life. So on today's video, Madam Glam actually let me pick out four more colors from their website and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. But if you don't know who Madam Glam is, they are a cruelty free brand. They are have a 21 free formula, they're hema free, they're palm oil free and they're certified vegan. So this first color that I'm showing you is called Northern Lights. It is a purple to green shift cat eye. They're all cat eye. Next color is Lost in New York. Even though this is a cat eye, this can also like transition as a glitter shade as well. But it is so stunning, especially for Halloween. If you're into those glittery nails for Halloween, I think this will be so beautiful. Patronus is the next color. It is this, I think it's brown, but it has like a green in it tone as well but next up is pandora and this color is red but it has a yellow shift to it it is so beautiful i'm showing you the swatch sticks because i didn't put them in order like i usually do of the videos i just wanted to make sure you could see them but if you want to check out any of these colors i will have them linked in the description box down below as well as a discount code to madam glam website their, the link will take you directly to their website where the ch code should be automatically applied at checkout. However, I'll pop it up here if it's not. But if you don't want to be a VIP member, just hit pay as you go and you should go past that. But these are the colors swatched out over black. This is not great swatches <laughs> when it comes to like using the magnet. But I was just playing around so you guys can kind of see what it will look like over black. But I do do a set today over black so you'll still see it but yeah i did want to show you as well so to start off i'm going to paint all of the nails perfect black and these will get two coats to be honest you guys kind of know right now it's everywhere this trick with the bobby pin and sometimes paper clip or well, sometimes bobby pin sometimes paper clip and making the little heart i had every intention to try it till i heard a few people more than a few say how hard it is and then i decided not to try it i will do it on my own time and if i master it i'll come back and make a video of it but since I, that kind of failed before i even tried it i decided that i was just going to play with all of these shades and that's kind of what i'm doing right now i am just putting them everywhere i don't have a real plan I just I went for it and I'm just playing and I had so much fun creating this set and being creative I'm not the best with the magnets I think I do need more magnets because this seems to like repel the cat I I think I don't know <laughs> so yeah I'm just learning basically that's what you're watching me learn be creative and just have fun <laughs> I want to make note that Patronus and Northern Lights are shades that you do have to put over a color. That is their intention and they are those dual shift colors. So I think that's why you have to put them over another color because to get really see those dual shifts. So I do want to mention that meanwhile Lost in New York and Pandora, those two shades they can stand on their own. <laughs> they don't really need a black shade under it unless you want to put a black shade under it. but all of them again are so stunning and i'm using all of them in both of these sets i don't know why i just like i said i'm being creative i'm having fun i am just playing and i rarely get to do that like make a setup on the spot i really get to do that so i did take this cat eye i think this is a holographic cat eye from my collection and i decided to play with this and make an ombre i was curious to see if i could i've been watching a lot of videos on on cat eye recently i think since that heart trick has gone viral everybody has been using it more so i've been seeing a ton of videos and one of the things i saw was like using multiple cat eye on one nail and it really inspired me to try to figure things out with it and this is me just trying to see if i could do an ombre to me this nail is so stunning i feel like the camera does it no justice it doesn't do any of the nails justice so yeah I think they're just so beautiful so right now i decided i wanted to take that alcohol ink and 
just kind of make it look more hazy I don't know what this effect is really called but you guys kind of know what I'm talking about if you look at planets so on this nail I'm gonna be honest I forgot to remove the tacky layer and I immediately noticed that something wasn't right and it was simply the tacky layer was still on the nail so I kind of wiped it with the alcohol no I'm not using alcohol I'm using acetone to dilute the alcohol ink so I wiped it with the acetone at the top before I did lay the um ink down but this actually did teach me something so this might help somebody else because I do struggle with alcohol inks they always smear on me so what I learned was I always usually put a matte top coat down since I did not do a matte top coat first I decided to just wipe the tacky layer off since I've already was working on the nails so on these next two nails I did wipe the tacky layer off and I just went on top of that and I didn't get any smearing from my top coat. So maybe if you're having that same issue, maybe don't apply a matte top coat and then put your ink down. That might be the cause of the smearing because that's what I'm thinking is the cause for the smearing for me. And I forgot to mention earlier when I was doing the nail that had the holographic cat eye on it. If you notice it, there was a little bit of a inconsistency at the bottom I didn't have the nail fully in the lamp so I had to buff it out at the bottom since Madam Glam is so full coverage you guys didn't even see the bump once I put that holographic cat eye on there and that's kind of why I love this brand like I can mess up and a second coat immediately fixes it without me having to do multiple coats which I have had to do in the past or sometimes start over which really sucks when you're kind of far into what you're doing. So yeah, I really appreciate how pigmented this brand is and how easily it cures in the light. So again, guys, I am just playing with the ink. I really, I'm just having fun <laughs> being creative. This now I decided I want to see if I can make these, this ink look like planets, the white part. I really just, I just wanted to see if it will work. In the end, I don't think I achieved what I thought I was. I think I would have to have just went straight in with a white coat. And also you don't have to use a white ink to for this part. You can also use like milky white, a milky white color, or you can simply go in like with perfect white, which is a regular white and just dab it with acetone as well. Ink to me just has this look about it and I just love the look. So that's why I went in with ink, but you don't have to do that. You can go in with perfect white or a milky white shade. So I took perfect white and I'm just gonna create four point stars on some of the nails. And all I do is dot the middle and then I go up, I go down and I go side to side. And once I get the four points there, I do try to go in and round out the curves a little bit. If you know what I mean, this kind of just makes it look less like a T or a cross and look a little bit more like a four point star. I decided I wanted to add a little bit more twinkle star type situation and I used the world tiniest dotting tool to do it. I really should have went up on the dotting tool size but in the past I would get a big dotting tool and I would make those little dots and I would instantly hate it. For some reason I love the tiny dots but it just felt too small so maybe I should have added more. So right now, I don't know if you can tell this, but yes, this star is very much so cricket. And I just went with it. I said this star was meant to be sideways. <laughs> this was the way it was supposed to be. This was how it was meant. But yeah, I didn't mean to do that. But if I would have wiped it off, I would have also wiped off the alcohol ink. And since I love the nail, I was not about to do that. So I just went with my imperfection and I just made it work. And I'm not mad at it. I think it turned out really pretty. And nobody would honestly know that it's sideways unless I said it. They probably thought I did it intentionally. So yeah, I'm not mad at it. 
And again, world's tiniest dotting tool making these tiny, tiny little white dots. <laughs> On the last cat eye nail, I decided I wanted to do bling. And I love the planet charm on here. And this is where I should have stopped. I felt like this was so pretty and stood so pretty on its own. But again, I had to go in and add more sparkles. So I decided to add in a few rhinestones around it. But what I really should have done was take the world's tiniest dotting tool. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling it that that even though I know it's probably not the smallest dining tool It's just fun to say but anyway I should have took that and added in some dots everywhere too and then that probably would have made me like this nail a little bit more I just felt like the rhinestones were just kind of random and didn't tie in too well you guys let me know what you think because sometimes you guys disagree with me and you kind of make good observations it's something i don't really think about so i appreciate your opinions so yeah let me know what you guys think and then i did go in and i put some rhinestones in each one of the stars so this is the set I just telling you that I wanted to top coat off camera because I wanted to be really quick just jump jump into the light with the nails because I was telling you about the smearing but there was no smearing this time these turned out so beautiful you guys let me know what you think I love them I love these colors definitely check them out from Madam Glam because they are so stunning well this is it for the video thank you guys for watching please feel free to like comment and subscribe i make new videos twice a week i want you guys to have an amazing day bye